lot of homemade cat food recipes that use beef, chicken, and turkey, um, or fish as the protein source. Those are kind of the more common ones that you see in commercial products a lot. But recently I've had some emails, pet owners asking me to share recipes made with pork. Um, in certain areas, pork is readily available, it can be cheaper, um, and some cats may just prefer this as a protein source. So if you're looking for a recipe with pork, this is a great one. Also, just so you know, you can always make substitutions with protein sources. So, um, for example, if you find another recipe of mine that you want to use but your cat prefers pork over chicken or beef, you can certainly substitute pork for any of those other protein sources as well. As always, just be sure to check with your veterinarian to make sure that the recipe that you create is going to provide balanced nutrition for your cat. For this homemade cat food, you just cook the ingredients in advance and then you put them all together. So it's super simple to make, takes about 15, 20 minutes of prep time and most of that is just cooking the pork. So uh, the first ingredient that I have is one tablespoon of safflower oil. I have a quarter of a cup of cooked brown rice. I have a quarter of a cup of cooked sweet potato. You can see that mine are diced fairly small. You wanna cut them to an appropriate size for your cat. Same thing with the pork. Um, I just pan fried mine, but you could bake it if you wanted to as well. And again, you wanna make sure that you just dice that into pieces appropriately sized for your cat. I'm just gonna toss this all around and that's it. This makes about three servings of uh, the homemade cat food. If you want the serving size recommendations or the nutritional guidelines, just click the link below this video. That will take you to my written guide um, where I discuss the recipe in depth. You can print the recipe out um, and it also has the nutritional information as well as serving size requirements and um, storage. So if you have any other questions, feel free to email us. Thanks for watching this video guide.